So welcome back uh, to the final video uh, looking at 3.1, the internal standard on developing a non-linear relationship and also the uncertainties um, calculations around that. And today we're looking at the discussion and conclusion part of this level 3 NCEA standard. So in terms of the conclusion, make it brief. So it's about two to three sentences, pretty much nothing more. What you're doing is you're linking your final result uh, with the aim of the experiment and also the theory. Okay, so did you get a straight line relationship? What did that show? What does that illustrate? And then you're comparing the final result uh, with a known physical theory equation or value uh, linked with the appropriate uncertainty. So you're basically saying, well, I think that the, the number for this constant is going to be x plus or minus x. Okay, you're just comparing it. So in terms of the, the majority of the, the mahi, that's going to be in the discussion part. So when you discuss it, what you're doing is you're going to be discussing any limitations in the experiment. Uh, so for example, uh, potential limitations in theory, as you would see with a, a pendulum experiment. Discuss how uh, other variables could have affected the results in-house. That's your uh, control uh, variables. So discussing them and how they would have affected the result if they weren't controlled. Uh, discuss the limitations of the theory, which is kind of, uh, I guess, what I've mentioned already. Okay, so for example, the limitations associated with angle uh, when you're looking at pendulums. Uh, discuss any difficulties and how they were overcome. Okay, so there can be difficulties in the method. So maybe you have to adjust the method. Uh, difficulties associated with the equipment that you're using to measure or the equipment that you're uh, having to measure and how you overcame these and how you may overcome them in the future if you redid the experiment. Uh, discuss uh, potential anomalies you would have gotten your data or could have gotten your data and suggest what caused these anomalies. Uh, then any uh, unexpected outcomes from the data processing. So maybe massive errors potentially, um, some of your values. Uh, what caused them? Okay, so that could be error propagation from your um, equipment and how they may be mitigated. So that could be your zero error, your parallax error, uh, your calibration error, um, taking averages. Um, things like that. And then discussing the line of best fit uh, for your uh, linear uh, graph and the gradient of that graph and the intercept and how they compare to theory. So you have an equation uh, which you have now created um, from your experiment and how that links to the equation from theory which you will have in your actual um, beginning um, papers that you'll be, be given at the start. Okay, so that's Basically how you would discuss and conclude your experiment to move towards excellence, focusing on how you uh, mitigated uncertainties, what the uncertainties were.